Marhaba. Hello guys. Hi. Wow. I am Paris today. Tiba. Hey. Hello. Nice to meet you guys. My name is Tiba and I am from Iraq. Oh. But I also live part of my life in Sweden. Sweden. So yes, oh. I have two nationalities. I have a Swedish and Iraqi. Yeah, so today I want to talk about Woman rights, is it okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm so interesting because yeah, yeah, yeah. you studied about human rights, yes. so you have more expert perspective, yes, maybe. Yes, yes. Many people generally think women's rights in Islam is very low because they wear yes. hijab and yes, they yes, can, yes. like Saudi Arabia, a few years ago, they cannot drive, yeah, 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 they yeah. cannot enter the stadium. Yeah, the true. kinds of things make non Muslim people think, oh, maybe their right is low. Yeah. But when I meet my Muslim friends, they think really differently. Mm -hmm. They think they deserve equally. Yes. So yeah. I'm curious about that. I want to ask you, and you're Muslim too. Mm -hmm. So do you think women right in the Muslim countries? Yeah, in general. Yeah. Their light is low. Do you think? Mm, I feel like the problem that we are experiencing is a mixture or misunderstanding between culture, culture aspects and religion. I feel like they are both being mixed in the Middle East because there are so many things that in Islam that fights for women's rights but then when you come and think about it in a cultural perspective then the woman is being repressed by the society mm -hmm. but not because of the religion but just because of the society ah. and I feel like that's how it was even in Korea before yes. there is so many repression on women but that doesn't necessarily mean it's religious yeah, related. So it's not because of religion? No, no, it's more like a cultural male dominant society yeah. are sometimes justified by the religion mm -hmm. it's like ah but this is how it says in Quran and this is how it says in here but they just exclude other aspects mm -hmm. which is fighting for women right we don't yeah. talk about them because it doesn't benefit men mm -hmm. so that's one of the most problematic issue mm -hmm. but I feel like it's hopefully is getting better more and more with the new generation in the yeah, Middle right, East right. And so many laws is changing. Yes, many laws are changing and the new generation is more open-minded, yeah, reading right. more, studying more and realizing that everyone is equal and everyone should be given the opportunity because yeah, right, right. the Islam, the religion we are proud of is actually fighting for this, fighting for equality yeah, between yeah. men and women. Yeah. So it will only make sense if we do as well. Yeah. The Quran said that in front of the God, every human being exactly. has the yes. same, same rights. Yes, 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 yes. I heard that if you're late, their family think that's not good at their reputation, so they mm -hmm. kill owner killing. But this uh, is very sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's it's a very cultural thing again, yeah. and just it's in different countries that goes back in history to the tradition. Uh, but that doesn't have anything to do with Islam. That's the thing. There's yeah, no such a thing. Yeah. Absolutely not. You cannot kill in Islam. You cannot kill at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And actually, even this owning the relationship between parents and children it's very pure so the Islam even says that if your parents is not not Muslim just be nice to them anyway because they are your parents so sorry if I quote it not correctly but it's something along the lines so it's very it's a religion that really forbid killing just like that that's yeah, forbidden so absolutely not there are so many misunderstandings because Islam spreads so many countries yeah. so they make so many cultures yes, 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 yes many yes. people misunderstand about mm -hmm. them yeah. exactly there's so much misunderstanding and I really hope in the future with YouTube and other things we can explain to the world that there is differences religion is not the same as culture and it's not just happening in the Middle East this problem is happening everywhere mm, yeah. there's so many in Korea too yeah, yeah. there's so many things. the gender conflicts are so exactly. serious in Korea exactly 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 yeah. and that doesn't have anything to do with religion yeah right it's not because of religion no exactly uh, I want to ask many countries their feminism is very a big issue in, in the worldwide yes, worldwide that's issue what it is. and I'm curious that the Middle East or other Islamic countries, is there any movements mm. fighting for women's rights? Right. Yes, yes, I actually haven't been in Iraq for 18 years, mm. and but I have been in Jordan, for example. I visited oh, a few right. times, yes. And in Jordan, for example, I can say I feel like uh, there is movement, mm -hmm. and there is also organizations, non-governmental organizations, who are actually fighting for women's rights. But of course, everything that happens regarding a human rights, it's in a very slow process. So it does take time and it doesn't happen in a blink. You know changes, especially 
social changes, yeah. they happen very slow. Yeah, right, right. Everything, it takes time in order to change something, yeah, to change right. people's mind. They need time. They, they need they're... time, absolutely. So I'm sure I'm positive that that change will happen because I see it in certain countries. Even in Saudi Arabia, for example, the, the changes are happening. Yeah, right. There is a positive outcome in the future, mm -hmm. but it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. It might take time. Yeah, so it is changing. Yeah, yeah I hopefully. think so. I believe so. I think that it's changing. Like, they are trying to give the yeah, same opportunity to men and women. It's definitely getting better. Unfortunately, it will take years. It will maybe take decades. Even in Sweden, but like 100 years ago, they were one of the worst yeah, right. when it comes to women's rights. But now they are like one of the best. So it does take time. So I'm sure, and besides Iraq and other countries, they have experienced so much war. So the, the people didn't have time to think of social mm -hmm. problems. Yeah, yeah. Because there when you don't have yeah, when you don't have food to eat at home, yeah. you cannot think of oh, what about women's right? Yeah. It's like a priority. Yeah, you can solve the problem at the first and then think about that. Exactly, exactly. So I think when the war calmed down a bit, the Middle East situation and the political situation calmed down, I'm positive that changes will happen. Oh, that's cool. yeah. I think it should be more about qual qualifications, yeah, qualifications, more than gender. It's not gender conflict, no, it's, it's no, human no. beings. Exactly. And even when it comes to like the different uh, skin color, mm, yeah, they sure, should, no course. one should be treated differently just because you are born in a way mm. that you can never change. You cannot change your gender, you cannot change your identity, you cannot change your skin color. So there's things that is you and you don't want to change it and that should be your right. You are, you have all the right to be you. So yeah, I think there are many misunderstandings about Islam even nowadays. But if there is some problem, it's just their problems, not because of Islam or because of... Exactly, yeah, exactly. So I want to say that. Yeah. Yes, yes. And the thing is, is like religion for me is a very personal thing. Yeah. My religion is different from yours, for example. Sure, Although sure. both of us are, for example, Muslims. My relationship with God is different from yours. That's why, in my opinion, we should never judge someone just based on the way they look, or the way they dress, or the way they show their religion, in a way. I feel like everything is very personal. It's a relationship between God and the person. And it's all depending on myself and on my intentions. I believe in intentions. If I have good intentions, as long as God knows my intentions are innocent, even if the other person in front of me is misunderstanding my actions, just because of the way I look, that doesn't mean that I'm wrong. If nobody can judge that. Exactly, yeah. nobody can. And nobody can say like you are more religious and you are less religious just because you do one, two, three. No, mm -hmm. there is way more. Religion and Islam is a, is a life. It's a life thing. It yeah. goes from you the day you are born to the day you die. It's a life process. I'm so impressed that Islam focuses on the relation you and God. That's exactly, exactly. And mm -hmm. that's, I think, one of the most important aspects when I forbid myself from doing something bad, not because I don't want my neighborhood to think I'm a bad person. No, I wouldn't care what they think. I would care what God thinks. That's one of That's the cool. most important things I, I believe. <laughs> That's cool. So today we talked about girls' right in yes. Islam. It was so interesting. Yeah, it was uh, really so interesting. interesting. I want to talk more things later. Yeah. I would love to. Um, thank you for saying really well about Yeah, this thank you topic. so much. No, yeah. it's no problem. Yeah, it thank can be really sensitive, but... Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah. But as long as we keep in mind that everyone has different perspectives, yeah, sure, different sure. opinions, there is no such a thing as good or bad opinion. If we don't talk about this, not, nothing's changed. That's true. Yeah, we That's have true. to talk about absolutely, this. Absolutely, absolutely. We have to be this cautious. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching my video. So take care and be safe and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ma'asalama. <laughs> Ma'asalama. <laughs>